video will focus on an exercise involving a country lodge that has two rooms. The country lodge has developed its forecast, which is a perfect forecast, for the last five days of the season. So what you will do is you'll look at the forecast and you'll use it to try and optimise the revenue in this hotel. And a one bedroom suite. Okay, it's just two rooms, so not very difficult. <coughs> so this hotel has a perfect forecast, which is impossible. But before I talk about their perfect forecast, here are the rates. So the hotel has the studio, costs 169 euro for weekdays. Um, and weekends, if customers stay for three nights, um, they can get a rate of 155 euros. Okay, so minimum rate for stay three nights. One bedroom suite is 270 euro every day. Okay, fixed price. So that's the prices, so very straightforward. So here we see the, the forecast. This is the forecast for the last five days of the season. At the moment, all rooms are available. Okay, so each cell here represents one room. And I have this in, a, in an Excel file, which I also sent to Sandra to distribute so you actually have it also. So it's quite fun if you want to train, for example, your staff. Um, so, studio available, bedroom, one bedroom suite available. They're both available for the last five nights of the season. So this is the forecast of what's going to happen. So what we expect to happen, the moment everything is available, is someone's going to call and want a studio. They would like to have a studio for two nights and they're going to be arriving on Friday. Okay. What we expect to happen. And it's a perfect forecast, so it is going to happen, etc. Um, so if we were to take this forecasted business on a first come, first serve basis, there's no revenue management, so what do we do? If someone asks us for a room, we look and see if it's available. If it's available, we say yes if they're willing to pay the price, right? That's what we do if we're not doing revenue management. Calls for a studio arriving Friday, staying for two nights. We have a look. Yes, the studio is available. Yes, they're willing to pay the rate. So we take the book. So we have 169, 169 revenue for those two nights. Second request, they would like a one bedroom suite. Lovely. Arriving on Monday, staying for two nights. They're willing to pay the rack rate. Fantastic. So then we would sell that one bedroom suite. 270, 270. Third request, one bedroom suite for Monday, one night. Well, we've already sold it here, so we have to say no to this request. Then we get a request for a studio arriving Friday, three nights. We'd have to say no because we've already sold the, the studio there, etc. So if we took that business on a first come, first serve basis, we would make 1,496 euros. Okay? We could accept the first two because we have availability. We'd have to decline number three and number four because we don't have availability. Then we can accept the last two because we have availability here and we have availability there. Okay. Of course, you're the revenue manager in this hotel, so you're going to make more than that, aren't you? So what I'd like you to do is to use the grid and to think about, well, I haven't sold anything yet. So what can I do in order to... Think about this is my forecast. Take that business and make more than one thousand. And I'm going to show you how the revenue management system thinks, how it does it, because it's different from what we do. So clearly, our brains are limited. Are limited. We have to accept that. Our brains are the same as the brains of those people that were living in caves and were going shooting deer and gathering herbs. Our brains haven't changed since those years, thousands and thousands of years ago, but technology has. And you know, every day technology is, is improving and getting better and faster and quicker. So for a revenue management system, you can plug it in, you can analyze your three years of historical data, you can develop a forecast for the next 365 days. It can optimize and come up with some recommendations in about 10 minutes. Okay? For a 600 room hotel. Whereas for us, two rooms, one night, it takes us 
the same amount of time. So we've got to accept that. We're, we're humans, and that's a good thing. I'm glad I'm human. I'm not to be anyway, so let's look at how the system thinks. The system doesn't think like us. The system thinks a lot more out of the box. So the system is going to look at this, these requests, and it's going to say, okay, which ones will generate the most revenue? So it's simply going to do a calculation. The rate they're willing to pay is 169, and the same for two months. Okay, so the system will do that for all of the demand. And then the system will say, okay, using a linear programming approach, which we don't need to go into now, we'll say, okay, this one is the best revenue. Let me just make that a bit bigger for those of you at the back. Let me go to 200. So the system will say, okay, this one is number one. This one we've definitely got to take. Then, interestingly, we can see that the one that's generating the second highest revenue is this one, which actually is at the lowest rate. Which none, we would probably try to take the bookings at the highest rate first, but actually it's the longest length of stay that is the most valuable. Especially, especially if we're not servicing that room. If you think about it, a stay over versus a check-in and a check-out, there also is a different cost associated with that. Okay, so then we have number three is going to be this one. The studio is number three, and we have another studio here. The ones that are going to generate the least revenue are those that are actually paying the highest rate. So if we were to slot those in now, if we say, okay, let's take the highest rate first. So let's start with that uh, Monday, arriving Monday for two nights, that's going to generate, that's going to generate 270 per night. Then let's think about the 135 for three nights. And we can see three nights. We can see there's no other. We can see that actually the lowest one is coming on the Sunday night. We can see there's a three night slot here for the 135. We can see that if we want to take the other bookings and the computer would see that very quickly, those two studio, we have to keep that available for the two studios. So logically, we would put the 135 here. Um, Although they're paying the lowest rate, it doesn't seem logical when we're a hotelier, but a computer is just going to say, well, that generates more revenue for the hotel overall, so we're going to put it there. Which leaves us with the availability in the studio to take the one that's arriving Monday, staying, uh, Friday, and staying for two nights, this one here, as well as this one arriving, where is it, on Sunday, staying for two nights. Okay, so if we take that one there as well, then we can generate 1,600. Okay. Of course, of course, it's easier on Excel. And that's, why, and that's why I'm sending around the Excel file if anybody wants it, and I'm happy to send it, because we have, if you notice, a lot more exercises here. So I'm happy to send you those so you can do them on Excel if you wish to later. Now, this is to show you how a, a revenue management system works. It's thinking about logically, not, we know that we can sell out everything on one night, but we're taking the whole period and we're trying to say, okay, in this week, how can we maximize revenue? It's not just about one night anymore. It's about saving inventory for those people arriving earlier, staying longer, because the longer length of stay is gonna generate not only more revenue from the rooms, but also more opportunity to sell other things as well. Because a one night stay, you're arriving late, leaving early, and spends nothing in the hotel. Okay, so that's a good <coughs> that exercise there. So we saw that actually practicing revenue management is quite difficult. Um, when we have even a limited amount of data, for us it's quite hard to compute and set aside our emotions to actually estimate what would be the optimal solution. So what we saw in this video is how a revenue management system would go about using the forecast to optimise revenue. Thank you very much for following this free video and I hope you found it interesting and useful. And please do go to fluful.com and sign up for some of our other free online courses. The number of courses will be increasing in the future so do go back from time to time to see what else is available. Thank you.